slap tear, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. What is a slap tear? It is a tear that occurs where the biceps tendon inserts into the superior labrum. A slap tear is different from a Binkhart lesion. Slap tears are not common and can be hard to diagnose. What are the symptoms of a slap tear? Pain deep within the shoulder or in the back of the shoulder. Catching, popping, or clicking sensation. There will also be pain when throwing a ball with decrease in velocity and the feeling of having a dead arm after pitching. There will be pain with overhead activity which mimics impingement syndrome. This typically affects throwing athletes. When the biceps tendon is involved, pain may also be located at the front of the shoulder. A slap tear can be an isolated lesion or can be associated with internal impingement, articular sided cuff tear, or instability. Diagnosis of a slap tear. Clinical examination testing. Usually the O'Brien test is the most commonly used test. Multiple tests are usually used, such as the anterior slide test and the clunk test. Diagnosis can also be done by MRI with contrast. Here's an example of how to perform the O'Brien's test. Patient is standing or sitting with the arm at 90 degrees of flexion, 10 degrees of adduction, and full internal rotation with forearm pronated. The examiner applies pressure to the forearm and instructs the patient to resist the applied downward force. Pain at the shoulder joint suggests a slap lesion. Decrease in pain of the shoulder joint on supination of the arm is suggestive of a slap tear. MRI arthrogram. The normal labrum is seen on the coronal MRI. The normal superior labrum is shown by a black signal. The superior labrum is completely dark and triangular. Bright signal within the superior labrum is a sign of a slap tear. Here you can see an example of a type 2 slap tear, which is the most common type. Here you can see an example of a type 3 slap tear, which is a bucket handle tear. The white area with dye inside highlights the area of the tear. Treatment includes physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medication, injections, and surgery when conservative treatment fails. Surgical treatment is usually done with labral debridement for minor tearing and fraying. Biceps tenodesis is another procedure. This procedure cuts the bicep tendon where it attaches to the labrum and reinserts it into another area, usually in front of the shoulder. Biceps tenotomy is another procedure that cuts the biceps tendon from the glenoid and lets it fly. By releasing the long head of the biceps tendon, this allows it to fall into the upper arm out of the shoulder joint. Biceps tenotomy is probably suitable for some elderly patients. Another procedure is slap repair. This procedure uses sutures to anchor the torn labrum to the glenoid. This is usually done for athletes and patients under the age of 40 years old. I just tore something in my shoulder. Now my arm feels dead, like it could fall off. I better get to the ortho center. They can help me there. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.